Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Dieter Burrell, and I'm going to be talking about all kinds of cool new buildings that have been happening in Pensacola. So stay tuned. There's a lot to talk about. All right, guys, welcome back. Listen, I'm going to be showing you guys a few of my older videos I had posted on the Bonewell house. They've actually finished it. They're almost finished. But I got some great photos I wanted to kind of show you guys. Um, in a series, I'm gonna kind of show you this one image. And you guys gotta tell me if you're digging the photo because um, it is coming out amazing. And I'm gonna be pretty stoked that you guys take a look at some of these shots. now. On the outside, you can kind of tell there's some cool geometry that's occurring here. I took this low shot. It's got a, actually a water feature on the base. And I don't know if you guys can see, but what you see here is that green grass. I think it's uh, artificial grass and because uh, there's there's nothing to, nothing on it which is really neat i've been seeing a lot of new designers coming up with these great ideas to try to avoid having to maintain grass soil dirt grime stuff like that uh, this house is on an intersection so i can kind of see a lot of debris kind of floating up to it uh, especially in the pond area which probably looks awesome at night but because of the debris and because there is no wall that separates the sidewalk from the, the uh, pond area, kind of it's gonna, down the road, it's gonna have some issues, uh, I tell you that. Uh, the geometry is fantastic, I'm digging it. Um, I hope you guys find some of these shots pretty cool. Uh, I, can, I can probably create a link to upload them somewhere so you guys can download them. Uh, the, the, the the view looking up it was amazing I, I kind of I, I definitely want to go out there at night take some shots and see what it looks like because now with electricity and everything running I bet you we're gonna get some amazing photos I have another series of houses that I was looking at I think you guys are gonna get a good kick out of it there's this couple of houses residential uh, right across the way from the stadium. Now, if you guys are familiar with Pensacola, clubs in Zaragoza, it's a really uh, sprawling kind of uh, area where these houses are surround, they're on the west side of what used to be the water treatment facility. So you guys that are familiar with it probably know what I'm talking about when you see the photos but if you're not um, I remember back in the day when I first moved to Pensacola and uh, I guess in 2000 something um, I remember seeing them they were the lots were like three four thousand bucks and now you can't find anything on their thirty five thousand dollars if you're lucky um, there's a, a couple of more shots I got here looking straight up um, I'm surprised nobody walked up to me and asked me what the heck I was doing, but I was sitting in my car so I didn't make it look like I was bothering anybody. Uh, there's one new house though in that same block that's gone up. Uh, this is the one thing about white houses and, and, and stain. Um, you can kind of see when you look at the, the, the close up of this, the windows, how the dirt, I guess when the, the it's either the dirt or the coating on the window system is just staining the wall, which God, that's irritating. I think I think it would irritate anybody, but this is something where you guys can kind of, kind of you can appreciate, um, you know, it, you know, making sure that you don't you don't, you don't have poor quality um, uh, products being installed in the house. Here's a great shot of it looking up, and again, you know, so I'm going to show it. I'm going to try to link these images on some sort of. Uh, uh, upload accounts so you guys can download them if you want to and use them now there is something that's been happening on the west side of Pensacola I've been noticing that they're doing these like track housing it almost looks like uh, uh, 
you know, just, it, it looks like rubber stamping. They're rubber stamping a bunch of these houses and I get it. I know what they're trying to do. They're, it almost looks like low income housing, but you know, they're probably asking close to half a million dollars for each one of these units. Um, they're townhouses, there's two stories, and yeah, they're cookie cutters, which I don't like, you know, as an architect, you kind of want to have a, a, a neighborhood that has variety, but these developers, you know, they have everything to a teeny tiny minuscule, you know, cost associated to each one of them. And that kind of tends to drive, I think it tends to drive a lot of the uh, individuality away from the neighborhood. Um, and you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when you start seeing some of these photos. Now, across the way from those, just literally across the street, I, I turned the camera and, and, and looked over, they're doing this, these, these other houses. And, and these houses, these townhouses, appear to have a different feel than the ones that are there. You can kind of see the, the one that's facing right behind the porta potty. Um, and you kind of see that, that those are a little different than the ones on the right. But yet, I think they're being done by the same developer. So you'll you'll you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about um, when you, when we get into it. Um, here's a couple. Here's a, another shot of them, kind of looking back. What I don't get is that they use sipboard on the three houses closest to the corner, and then they started using this uh, uh, King Span Green Guard uh, water barrier. It literally, it's like looks like a trash bag but it's supposed to be a little harder, it's supposed to withstand. Uh, the only problem with this is when they, they, they put it in place, they let the, the they don't tape in correctly, and they just flap, flap with the wind. And, and then the guy that does the hardy siding uh, comes back and he just nails it pretty much in place and keeps it from flapping around. Uh, not, not the best product in the world, but it, it works. Here, here's coming around the corner, looking at some of the other houses, um, which I love the, the, the fact that they're not cookie cutters and there's a variety of different colors and styles and window sizes and patterns and, and anything, you know, everything that makes, makes your house feel like your house. You know, again, you don't want your house to look like somebody else's house, you want it to have character. Uh, but a lot of people don't understand, don't, they can't appreciate that. You know, they, they think that a house should be uh, accessorized, sort of like a pair of pants, pair of, you know, you know, and a dress. Um, I kind of went back and looked at the, the rest of that development. And uh, I kept jumping back and forth in that same vicinity, you know, and I'll, and I'll put it on my link uh, to, so for you guys to kind of check out, see what you guys think about that neighborhood. You guys can go drive yourselves and check it out. Here's a few more shots looking in that same area. It's like a, literally a block away from that. Um, tends to be the most popular colors, the, the beiges, the grays, and the whites. You know, I don't see a lot of variety. But people, this is what people buy. So, you know, you, you, get, you get what people, what people want to get. You know? So, you, here, I like, I like this one. There's some variety, color, styles, design which you want that, you want a little, you want a little flair. Look at the, the windows, the, do, the garage doors. Yeah, is there, is there a lot of fluff to it? No, there's not, but it does give it a character. It does give it a different feel to it. And uh, it makes you stand apart from the cookie cutter machine houses that are, that are being built anywhere else. So here's the under construction look. And uh, you can kind of see the name of the company, the, the real estate company, A Doors Real, real Estate, um, selling them. I don't know who the builder is, but I'm sure we can find out from somebody. And there you have it, guys. This is our 10 minute trip around Pensacola. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more videos. And don't forget to hit the link button and subscribe.